Hello everyone. Welcome to Pseudo Science Podcast. Today's topic is antimatter. What is antimatter? Antimatter is just a regular matter with few properties flipped, such as electric charge. For example, the antimatter version of an electron is positron. They both have same mass but have opposite electric charge. For every particle that exists, there is an antimatter as a counterpart. What makes antimatter unique is that when antimatter comes in contact with regular matter, they mutually destroy each other. and all their mass is converted into energy for a instance a proton and a positron are somewhat similar they both have same regular mass they both have positive electric charge of same strength they both have quantum spin of 1/2 but when a proton meets an electron it forms a stable hydrogen atom when a positron meets an electron they destroy each other the key difference is that a positron is antimatter and proton is not it takes about 100 billion dollars to create a milligram of antimatter antimatter matter annihilations have the potential to release a huge amount of energy a gram of antimatter could produce an explosion the size of a nuclear bomb to study antimatter you need to prevent it from annihilating with matter scientists have created ways to do just that charged antimatter particles such as positrons and antiprotons can be held in device called pending traps antimatter and matter particles have the same mass but differ in properties such as electric charge and spin the standard model predicts that the gravity should also have the same effect on matter and antimatter however this has to be yet to be seen observing gravity's effect on antimatter is not quite as easy as watching an apple fall from a tree these experiments need to hold antimatter in a trap or slow it down by cooling it to a temperature just above absolute zero and because gravity is the weakest of all the fundamental forces physicists must have to use neutral antimatter particles in these experiments to prevent interference by more powerful electric force let me share you uh, an interesting fact related to antimatter antimatter is created by many types of radioactive decay such as decay of k40 that is potassium 40 when you eat a banana you are eating a trace amount of antimatter producing atoms The amount is so small that it doesn't affect your health, but it is still there. A matter particle and its antimatter partner carry opposite charges, making them easy to distinguish. Neutrinos, nearly massless particles, they rarely interact with matter, have no charge. Scientists believe that they may be the majorona particles, a hypothetical class of particles that are their own antiparticles. Antimatter is used in medicine. PET, positron emission. tomography uses positron to produce high resolution images of body so now let's dig into some observations regular matter antimatter and dark matter regular matter examples like electron proton neutron main role is to form atoms molecule objects planets etc and they reflect light antimatter example positron main role is to destroy regular matter and also reflects light dark matter examples are unknown their main role is uh, it add masses to galaxies and they don't reflect light so this is it about today's episode we have learned about antimatter and related facts and its uses do share your comments and theories of this episode with me through instagram facebook and twitter and if you want the visual experience with graphics and animation of my episode watch them on youtube and subscribe to my channel dheeraj kala kuri okay now we'll meet you in the next episode with a new sci-fi topic until then goodbye stay safe stay tuned